Okay, guys, stand back. I have to use my tool, this huge magnet on a siren head to extract everything from his body that's hurting him right now. Because this is the only way it's going to save his life. Ah, oh, jeez, this thing's huge. Ah, oh, man, this thing is like overpowering this magnet. Oh, okay, I got something. Okay. Whoa. Oh, this is... Oh, what? It's in Siren Head. Okay. Alright. This magnet's pretty good for its job. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of it's coming up now. Don't worry, Siren Head. We'll save you. Okay. Whoa. That was a lot. Okay. Let's see if I can get the next thing. Again, I'll use my magnet. Come on, Siren Head. Save you. To get whatever's inside of you out. Okay, got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. The heck? It's okay, Siren Head. I'll save you. Next time, maybe don't eat whatever the heck's in your body. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. Okay, I'm gonna use my tool again, guys. See if I can extract more things from Siren Head so we can save his life. This powerful back. Okay, I hit something, guys. Oh. Whoa, this must have had a watch on it or something. I don't know if I can find the watch or not. Siren Head, you'd better maybe not eat as much stuff next time. Alright, let's see what else is in there. Got something, guys. Got something. <sighs> wow. Need to see this guy. All right. Two eyeballs. Okay, guys. We operated on Siren Head. I think we saved his life. Thank goodness to this huge magnet. Now, if you guys want to operate on Siren Head in your home, this is how you do it. This is how you can make your own Siren Head operation game. Hey guys, so basically I start off with this big huge box that I got and those things that are popping up on the box right now, those are actually uh, toys that my daughter got from uh, McDonald's. So if you go to McDonald's, I think this was like a couple weeks ago, they were actually giving out like these miniature games and one of the miniature games on there was actually uh, a miniature operation game. So when the miniature operation game uh, I took those pieces and, and you'll see later on that I actually just cut them up and that's actually how I, how I make the, the um, Siren Head operation and so basically I just draw it and you see me cutting it up right there the operation game it's actually a magnet that red pen is actually a magnet that you'll be using on the game and you take the game apart like I said, I was going to throw this stuff out anyway, but I was like, you know what, before throwing anything at my daughter's out, I kind of look at it and say, can I make anything from it? Now, this might be a corny concept, an Operation Siren Head game, but it's just, it's just something that I did. I thought it would be cute to do, and it's easy. It doesn't really cost anything to do it um, as well. I like to do all my stuff kind of cheap, because, uh, you know, not everybody has tons of money. I don't have tons of money. Uh, so, and this was just kind of a cute game. My daughter actually came home from school and actually played with it. We played with it for a couple hours. Um, so it, it's kind of cool. Uh, and then, you know, here I am. I'm just kind of painting it, kind of putting a base on it. Uh, and then um, after I put the base on it, uh, I used uh, some uh, Pascal mar markers and I used uh, some other markers. And basically all the stuff, like I said, I've already had already. And um, after I paint it, uh, that's when I start like using now when I cut it that's when um, if you are like under a certain age you probably should have someone helping you cut it because I actually used a box cutter later on so if you have um, do not use a box cutter <laughs> unless you ask someone's permission or if you're old enough to use it because you can actually cut your finger off or worse if you use a box cutter and that's actually what I use now you can use a pair of scissors uh, it's just a lot harder, but using a pair of scissors is a lot safe, safer than using a box cutter. So, but that's later on. And I decided to use different colors for uh, coloring Siren Head. One, I decided to be fun. 
two, the markers started drying up, so, you know, <laughs> once the markers started drying up, and because it's kind of hard to draw over paint, uh, unless you have some paint Posco markers, uh, it actually works better if you actually use paint markers, which I do. That's actually how I did uh, the siren head operation. And, and to see the little pieces on there right now, those little pieces actually came from the miniature uh, McDonald's uh, Happy Meal game. So that's what I'm saying. I didn't have to really make the pieces up. And this is me using the box cutter. Like I said, if you're going to use a box cutter, get permission or have someone help you use the box cutter. Or just if you're old enough to use the box cutter, please, please, please be very, very careful with that. Or you can use scissors. And I suggest that you do use scissors so you don't cut yourself. Like, I, you know, I did it. I was very careful when I did it. And you do get a cleaner cut when you do the box cutter. But that's just, you know, that's just me. But um, as you can see, uh, Siren Head looks like he's camouflaged. So <laughs> it's like a camouflaged Siren Head operation game. But if you think about it, if you're going to go into operation, uh, sometimes they put uh, different things on you. Like, hey, this is where, you, this is where you're going to be operating on and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's just kind of different. Looks like operation. Uh, looks like uh, Siren Head has like uh, you know, like he has some type of disease or something as well. So, and this is where um, I'm gonna cut his stomach open right here, his gut, and I try to make it into a circle, but it's kind of hard to to do that sometimes. But like I said, just be very, very, very careful using a box cutter. And if you're not old enough to use a box cutter, use scissors or have someone help you do that. Um, Knowing me, I probably would have cut myself if I wasn't as careful as I was. So. And like I said, see how easy it is? You just kind of pop the pieces through. And it kind of looks like Simon like kind of looks like a pumpkin right now too. So I, <laughs> I tried to make it look like he had like a shoulder problem and a chest problem. Uh, it, but it turned out to be because he is orange. He almost looks like a pumpkin, which. Eh, you know, Siren Head's supposed to be scary anyway, so. And this is where you take the pieces, um, I cut off the pieces from the, from the box earlier, uh, for when you keep the box cut, or for when you keep, when you keep the box, uh, closed. You take the, the lids off those, and you kind of cut them in smaller pieces, and this actually is really, it fits really well, and to, you put them on, up underneath, uh, Siren Head, and this will actually help with the game. So, all you do is, I use super glue for this, uh, not super glue, I'm sorry. I used hot glue. I used one of my hot glue guns. You can use super glue as well. I'm sure it'll stay. Or you can use tape. I just used a hot glue gun because it was there. And it's a lot, it, it, it dries a lot faster than regular glue. And the tape probably won't last as long. So then you put the pieces in. And now there's not going to be a buzzer that goes off because I am using a magnet. And I could have probably spent a little bit more time on this and put lights. Um, somewhere uh, to, you know, for it to go buzzing off. It's just one of those games I made within like, I think I made it like in half hour, 45 minutes. Um, and it's just something fun to do. And basically all the stuff that I, that all the stuff that I make is kind of leftover stuff from, from your home, from your house. So it's not like you have to go out and buy a lot of stuff for anything that I make. And so it'd be fun. Okay guys, thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Fun Eye TV. And if you just click on the link in the description below, it'll take you to Siren Head free stuff. Yes, I said Siren Head and it's free stuff. And it'll take you to other free stuff as well. So just click the link in the description below and it'll take you to lots of free stuff we have available. So don't forget to subscribe to Fun Eye TV. Alright, okay, alright. We'll catch you next time on Fun Eye TV. Bye bye guys.